let the Burning Rally Challenge begin. Welcome to Peru, home of the third Peru Birding Rally Challenge, an event where five of the very best bird watching teams compete to see how many birds they can record over a six day period. This grueling race starts off in the Peruvian Amazon and ends off at the legendary site of Machu Picchu in southern Peru. On this year's event, we are going to be following one of these teams, a team from the USA called Field Guides. The day has finally arrived when the Peru Birding Rally Challenge kicks off. This is day one of the six day event and we're at the luxurious Incaterra Reserva Amazonica on the banks of the Madre de Dios River in southern Peru. Let's go meet the team that we will be following this week, field guides from the USA. What we're doing here is we're an event, a six day event, which basically takes in two ecosystems, the lowland Amazon rainforest and the cloud forest near the famous ruins of Machu Picchu. And the race really consists of the teams going out and trying to see or hear as many birds as they can in a day. This is the, the second year in a row this rally happens and uh, I've been uh, able to participate in, in two of them. Five birding tourism companies will compete as teams in the third Peru Birding Rally Challenge. Birding Eco Tours comes all the way from South Africa. Sunbird represents the UK, Aviatur flies the flag for Colombia, and the United States is represented by two teams, Surbound and Field Guides. The teams will each need to complete specific routes, starting in the Amazon with three separate routes. Valencia Lake, close to the Peru-Bolivia border, Sandoval Lake in the Tambopata Reserve, well known for its primates and giant river otters, and the trails and canopy walkway around Incaterra's Reserva Amazonica Lodge. The competition then moves to the high altitude lagoons close to Cusco and ends up with three distinct routes around the legendary site of Machu Picchu. So here we are, day one, behind the lodge, Amazonica Lodge on the Madre de Dios. It's been a wet morning, lots of rain all night, raining all night. But the rain has stopped, now the mosquitoes are out, so we're getting bit up pretty bad. But um, the activity has picked up, lots of birds, we're, we're having a good morning. There it is! <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it! <laughs> I like front and none bird. Hey, check this out, Dan. It looks like there's a thrush like wren. Parakeets. Oh, yeah, there's a dusty headed. Yeah. Nice. Well, we just found a feather on the ground. It looks like, uh, yeah, this one right here. It looks like a secondary feather, maybe, of a mottled owl. We got it, mottled owl. 
Okay, so we've had a good morning. We've just come back to the lodge and I think we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat for lunch. And uh, we've just been checking out some of the birds on the grounds here. The streak flycatcher above us here we've been looking at. Right here by uh, the lodge, there's a uh, pair of plumbius antlers. We might as well bring those in and have a look. So uh, we just arrived on Roland Island and um, we, we see that the Colombian team is also here. This is their boat and uh, both of the boats have big coolers in the back with cold drinks, uh, Cokes and, and beers. So uh, I think we're going to take a look in their cooler and, uh, and uh, partake of their, of their cervezas here. Ah, oh, like true Colombians, they already drank them all. Little right. woodpecker, oh, right yeah. on. Fantastic. Good day today. We saw, you know, I would guesstimate that we saw somewhere around 135 species, somewhere in there, which is probably a little short of our, our goal of 150, but um, overall a really excellent day. And, you know, the sun is starting to set. And uh, we're probably just gonna cruise back to the lodge, watch for stuff going to roost, fly over parrots or macaws, listen for a few owls calling towards dusk and uh, call it a day. This Birding Adventures episode is powered by Nikon, your world leader in optics since 1917, and sponsored in part by Prom Peru. It's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and we're headed up river to Valencia. We're in the boat right now. We've got a, a big day ahead of us. We're in fourth place, we're second to last. We gotta work hard today and make it a long day and try and see as many species as possible. You know what then? A esta hora, las aves son tan escasas como monjas en un puterío, de verdad. Tienes razón, amigo. Pale legged hornero on the nest. Straight black hawk. Amazon Kingfisher there. Bluish printed Jackamar there over the water. Hey, a sun grieve up there. Corman off of the bow of the boat. Bloombus guide. Lovely king vulture. The motor is giving us problems right now, so we have to, well, we have to look at it and uh, maybe change a spark plug or two. Man, this is really gonna blow our chances, guys. We've had some, some obstacles in the way here in the afternoon. From the recent rains, there's been a lot of debris coming down from the tributaries feeding into the, the main river system here, and there's just filled with big logs and branches and all sorts of things in our way so we've had to go really slow getting back and then with the motor problems we had earlier it's delayed us the first stop for the field guides team is a brazil nut forest called tambopata which is reached after a really really spectacular three-hour boat ride oh well black caracara Silver beak tanager out there. Brazil nuts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. What happened? Oh, my God. Jeez, that's why they make us wear these. There's a social flycatcher. Oh, and one of the highlights too would have been Orinoco Goose. Uh, that was really nice. A female, it looked to be a female on the sandbar there as we were coming back, and that was a nice surprise for us. 
turkey vulture, greater yellow-headed vulture, black vulture, king vulture, osprey, oh uh, gray-headed kite, swallow-tailed kite, uh, slender-billed kite, ringed kingfisher, Amazon, green, an American pygmy. 176. Liar. All right. We may be back in the running. <laughs> We're back! <laughs> This Birding Adventures episode is powered by Nikon, your world leader in optics since 1917, and sponsored in part by the Inca Terra family of hotels, authentic nature travel since 1975. Day three of the Peru Birding Rally Challenge and the final day of the Amazon leg of this incredibly grueling race finds field guides in third position. They've jumped up one position from day one and they're now really, really trying to get up to second or first place on this final day of the Amazon leg. This day finds us at Lake Sandoval and a place called Concepcion, which have a wonderful network of trails through primary forest, through bamboo forest, and there's also some great riverine forest here. So let's go catch up with the field guides team and see how they're doing. We're going to start with the Lago Sandoval. Okay, there is a, a few macaws, blue and yellow macaws. I'm hearing a cream-colored woodpecker up here in the canopy. Curl crest there are sorry, up in the canopy. There's two sun beaters there. So on the way to Valencia Lake, we saw some Watsons. We were in third place last, last night. We had a good day of birding today. Um, so I'm hoping with today's totals and moving to a new territory, a new place, um, that we can get caught up and get us into second or, or even first place. But um, it's really tight, really close right now. We're all a bit nervous. So working hard to see more birds. All right, it's our final day. Uh, today we're leaving the lodge in the lowlands. We're going to be taking the boat upriver to Puerto Malinado, flying to Cusco, and driving to Machu Picchu. We're going to be getting in at 11 o'clock. We woke up this morning at 4. This is kind of the day that may make or break it for us. Rock pigeon! Rock you rocks! Yeah! We're going to drive for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the traffic. Uh, we've got to drive across Cusco, and we're going to make a stop at two high altitude lakes with ducks and grebes, and one with reed beds, and some uh, like passerine birds that live in reed beds. We're up in the highlands here and in the Andes. 3,500 meters, and I'm tired. Hey Steve, move your ass! Come on. This is a really rush stop. We've got like um, just a little bit less than an, a little bit less than an hour, 45 minutes to bird this site, and we're already, you know, we've been here 30 minutes. We got about 15 minutes left, so we're rushing to pick up any new birds. Come on, let's go! We're at Waipo Lake, and we are looking for more waterfowl, maybe a rush tyrant. And uh, a silvery grew would be great. 
we are looking for more birds now. We are in another lagoon, uh, higher than the, than the first one. It's getting cold and we just want to see more birds. We're a little bit higher than sea level here and uh, some of us live at sea level, so <laughs> you gotta use your brain sometimes when you wanna get around. In fifth position, Aviatur, 272, fourth position, Ecop Tours, 295, third position, Field Guys, 348, and at the top of the line, Equalize, Sunburned and Surbound, with 355. Really, really happy and uh, certainly gives us the urge to push on to win this competition. This Birding Adventures episode is powered by Nikon, your world leader in optics since 1917 and sponsored in part by LAN Airlines. It's morning of day five and we are really sleepy. Look at this guy. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. Day five. All right. Machu Picchu. Bless you. It's a spectacular sight, obviously. What a magnificent setting. It really, it really is amazing. Except all these tourists. Oh, sorry. He's supposed to. Cinnamon flake, got you. So we've been birding on the grounds of the hotel here, which has been really nice. Uh, torrent ducks in the river down below. That oh, was good. You know, we had a really nice hike up to the top to the Sun Gate early in the morning. Uh, spectacular clouds over the uh, ruins. Fernando is the Halcón. That's his bird name. He's the Bat Falcon, so this is his papa. It's his papa. It's my father. Yo soy tu hijo. Tu eres mi padre. This nest right here is being made by an Inca wren, which is a a wren that's only found in a couple of valleys around here. This valley, the valley over uh, the other side of those mountains there, and I think maybe one other. And uh, the wren is a bamboo specialist. This is a Chusquea-like bamboo right here. It was only discovered once they had first cleared the vegetation off of the Machu Picchu ruins, and the bamboo regenerated. It was one of the first plants to regenerate. And that was done about in the teens to the 20s, and so the bamboo became really thick right around the 50s. And when the first ornithologists started visiting here in the 60s, they found this bird. I think the first specimens were only collected in the early 70s. And it was described to science in 1985 by John O'Neill and Ted Parker. It's still a pretty poorly known bird considering how easy it is to see here. It's amazing. I mean, this is the place to come if you want to see Inca Wren. The results of the fifth day. It's very close. One point game. It's one bird between us and the second place team, and then one bird between the second place team and the third place team. So tomorrow is going to be very close. Mañana va a ser el día. Yeah? Think about it. The final day of the Peru Birding Rally Challenge has arrived. And right now, all five teams are frantically trying to add one or two more species to their totals. Well, it's pouring down with rain. Doesn't look like it's going to stop, so we may as well go and see what we can find out there. There's probably some good birds to find. It's going to get a bit damp, of course, but it's all part of the fun. The check-in point today is right here at Inca Terra's Machu Picchu Pueblo Hotel at 12 o'clock today. And in just a few minutes, we are going to find out who the victor is when these teams come back from birding the cloud forest here around Machu Picchu. Last night, the three top teams were two birds apart. And uh, I'm assuming that all three teams probably got around the same number of birds today. 
I look up and I see a little bit of movement in the trees and I put my bins up and there's this flame, fiery faced warbler in the trees and it was like, oh my gosh, that's a male, adult male black Bernian warbler. And that was our final species and that's what gave us the edge for the competition, I believe. What an incredibly fantastic time. And let's catch up with these teams as they now come in with their final tallies. In fifth position, Aviatur. In fourth position, Berlin Eco Tours from South Africa. In second position, Sun Bear and Surbound. The winning is Phil Guys! Well, cheers to the Peru Birding Rally. Probably the most comfortable beds I've ever experienced in my life. A pity I didn't get a chance to spend much time in them. Yeah.